And I would said to Max, you know, you ought to stand down because it's damaging everybody. But afterwards I apologised to all the people in the FI and everybody else because I felt really third rate about doing it. I wanted to mention a few of the um, tough moments um, over your career, Formula One's evolution, and get you to recall the story and then how you were able to overcome it. Um, the first one being when Formula One lost tobacco advertising because of uh, the, the ban on yeah, tobacco yeah. advertising. Well, it wasn't good because they were big sponsors in Formula One. It was a bit of a shock, not just bad for me, but all the teams that got sponsorship. And they were the biggest sponsors in the sport, so yeah. when you learn that's going to happen, even though I think you're later able to work out a deal where it was a nine-year kind yeah. of withdrawal, um, but how were you able to, you know, get past that and have success? Well, because I think in the end, it was what you said, we just sort of phased it out and people realized that uh, in the end, it would be a big battle to go ahead and try and stop it. When your longtime confidant and colleague, Max Mosley, mm -hmm. resigned. Yeah, that was, that was me being thoroughly third rate because a lot of uh, sponsors and teams and whatever manufacturers said, got to get rid of Max because of all this nonsense, which was nobody's business, anything. Anything that was alleged he'd got up to was private, not to do with anything else. And I'd said to Max, you know, you ought to stand down because it's damaging everybody. But afterwards I apologized to all the people in the FI and everybody else because I felt really third rate about doing it. Why? Because he's a good mate. He's done an awful lot for Formula One, a lot for the sport, um, helped me a lot in different things, and he's a first-class person. If you had to do it over again, uh, how would you have handled that differently? I would have shut my mouth, I suppose, or told, just said the people that were campaigning against him to shut up, and hope they did. I don't think they would have done, but I needn't have joined them. That also happened around the time of the financial crisis. So, you know, that happens. And then on top of that, it's 2008, 2009, uh, the, the Great Recession, um, BMW, uh, Toyota, Honda, all, you know, shut down their teams. Um, take me back to that period and what you remember was going on then and how you were ultimately able to get through it? Well, uh, well you have to get through these things when they happen because there's not a big alternative. But I mean, when you talk about the people that withdrew, did they withdraw because of these things? Or did they withdraw because they wasn't co competitive and saw a good ex reason to escape? I don't know and I've never asked. <laughs>